CDC Vital Signs Preventing Sickle Cell Anemia Complications in Children Sickle cell anemia is the most severe form of sickle cell disease, a group of inherited red blood cell disorders causing unusually shaped, hard, and sticky red blood cells. These cells clump together, blocking blood flow carrying oxygen through the body. Sickle cell anemia, which primarily affects black people, is associated with a shorter lifespan and life-threatening complications that can affect all parts of the body. These complications cause unnecessary pain and suffering. Sickle cell anemia is a common cause of childhood stroke. There are screenings and treatments available to ease children suffering from sickle cell anemia. Two recommended healthcare measures to prevent complications in children with sickle cell anemia are transcranial Doppler, or TCD, ultrasound screening, which identifies children at higher risk for stroke. Hydroxyurea, a medication that can reduce several complications, including severe acute pain episodes and acute chest syndrome, which can result in lung injury and trouble breathing. But far too few patients are receiving these potentially life-saving prevention measures. In 2014, an expert panel convened by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute recommended that children with sickle cell anemia have annual TCD screenings and that they be offered hydroxyurea treatment. However, there have only been modest increases in use of both interventions between 2014 and 2019. Fewer than half of children aged 2 to 16 years received a TCD ultrasound screening in 2019. Less than half of children 2 to 9 years and slightly over half of children 10 to 16 years used hydroxyurea. Children with sickle cell anemia face barriers that make it hard for them to get the care they need. These include racism and prejudice and a shortage of healthcare providers with expertise in treating sickle cell anemia. Families may also be fearful of potential medication side effects or uncertain about whether medicine will work. And there can be logistical issues with managing appointments and lack of care coordination between providers and radiology centers that provide TCD screening. What can be done? Preventing complications in children with sickle cell anemia includes recognizing where racism exists in the healthcare setting and taking steps to combat it. Healthcare institutions can develop formal reporting systems to document and respond to racist behavior and empower people with sickle cell anemia to safely report concerns about prejudice or inequality. Increasing TCD screening and hydroxyurea use is also critical. Healthcare providers can track TCD screenings and follow up in electronic health records, integrate screenings into a single comprehensive sickle cell visit when possible, become familiar with guidelines on prescribing hydroxyurea and studies showing its safety, address practice barriers such as a lack of support staff or time to provide hydroxyurea counseling. Community based organizations and partners can. Develop patient and provider resources to improve understanding of the importance of TCD screening and the benefits and safety of hydroxyurea. Connect patients and families with tools to help patients take medication as directed and schedule screening appointments and support transportation needs by identifying financial assistance. Patients and families can learn about hydroxyurea and the importance of getting an annual TCD screening. Talk to their provider about TCD screening results and pros and cons of hydroxyurea compared with other treatments. For more information, please visit www.cdc.gov forward slash vital signs forward slash sickle dash cell dash anemia.